Luke, I don't know if you noticed, Luke, but I low-key uh, asked Logistics to grab you a little M.2 yeah. drive. I was going to ask you what's up with that. Yeah, I... so um, the challenge is real. The challenge <laughs> is happening. Sweet drive. Luke and I are going to be switching to Linux on our daily driver machines. This may, in fact, be the last WAN show that I broadcast on a Windows machine for quite some time. And we haven't figured out exactly what the punishment for blinking first is going to be. But whoever goes back to Windows first is going to have to do something. I saw one really good suggestion, um, dyeing your hair in four like quadrants, the Windows colors, um, <laughs> might be a kind of fun one. It's not permanent, you know, you're not maimed or anything, oh, but it's goodness. certainly... You'd have to like run it the whole way out. Basically. Not the best. Yeah. You can't oh. like shave your head. Like it would have to be reasonable haircuts and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 Totally. You're not allowed yeah. to re dye it. That would be Sweet. ridiculous. Yeah. So, and there's some more good news for anyone who's looking to game on Linux. Uh, there's nothing in the dock. Um, so, is that okay? Yeah. You said you, no more WAN shows. So, that's your home PC. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's my home okay. PC, man. Okay. Um, there's more good news for Linux gamers. I did not get around to uh, fleshing this out in the dock, but hey, look, The Verge did an article. Boom. There's a stock image of a graphics card. Remember, if it's GIF, it's graphics. And in a nutshell, uh, Linux gamers are getting a new uh, a new tool to tinker with. Proton has added support for DLSS technology, or rather, NVIDIA has announced that it is working with Valve to bring DLSS technology on from their RTX cards to Linux. So if you're not aware, DLSS is not perfect. It doesn't look the same as native rendering. But what it does do is it does get really freaking close while delivering um, very, very noticeable improvements in performance. There is more input lag. Yes, because there's processing being done uh, using uh, machine learning on this like enormous data set of sometimes imagery from the specific game, but that's actually kind of the old way of doing it. So now it's the, a more generalized data set. Uh, and then taking your lower resolution uh, gameplay and upscaling it to native 4K or whatever happens to be the display that you're running on. I'd say at 1080p, there's really not much point using it if they even do allow it. I've never even tried. It's never even occurred to me. But particularly for gamers on larger, higher resolution displays like 4K TVs, it can be an outstanding way of improving image quality without, um, or improving performance without really losing much in the way of image quality. We did a video where we figured out who on the LTT staff could tell the difference between native 4K and DLSS? And predictably, Anthony and I were able to do it, but the results were much spottier. And Anthony and I both admitted, we actually talked about it off camera afterward, but we both admitted that we could tell because we knew what to look for. Right. Not we could tell because it looked like dog <laughs> with DLSS enabled. Like it wasn't yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's no time frame for when DLSS will be coming to Proton, but support for Vulkan is coming this month, um, and DirectX support would be coming in the fall. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. I, I suspect that the, uh, the pressure is kind of on. I mean, I think Valve making this move with the Steam Deck is really shining a light on Linux gaming in a way that has never happened before. I mean, I'm sitting here going, I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I have and this is a this is a tough confession for me to make here. I have never daily driven Linux. Not once. I've I think in in a lot of ways it's going to be probably not as bad as you expect to be completely honest. I'm not um, expecting it to be bad. I'm expecting it to have unnecessary bullshit that tedious. you shouldn't have to deal with. One, one of and the to be best clear, ways Windows has lots of that. Just want to say. Yes. Yeah. One of the best ways I, I maybe it's better now. I don't know. It's been a very long time for anyone watching the audience. It's like it doesn't work that way anymore. Like, OK, yeah, sure. They probably changed it years ago because <laughs> it's been a long time. But the last time I 
Bailey drove Linux. Uh, the thing, one of the one of the like very minor straws that broke that camel's back um, was just everything that I needed to do that was just small, unimportant tasks that would essentially take no time on Windows took just a little bit more time. And one of those was like, I need to update Discord. And on Windows, there's a little green down arrow and you click it and then your Discord closes and reopens and you're done. And I had to like do a more stuff. I don't even remember what it all was because it didn't matter, but I had to do more stuff and it was just annoying. I didn't want to do that at that time. I just wanted to uh, start working because at that time, Floatplane worked through Discord. Um, it's just little things that are just like, why do I have to do this additional amount of work? In a lot of cases, it's not even really Linux's fault. It's it's kind of like the uh, the Android problem with things like Instagram back in the day. I don't know if this is still a thing where like just because you have an Android phone, your your picture is going to be like lower res. Yeah, and and it's just like you're like not going to work as well. Like all, all the apps back in the day worked better on on iPhones, and it wasn't like the Android phones problem. But it was still a problem if you used an Android phone. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm also wondering about like game compatibility. Like For they sure. say, the Steam library is going to be there. Um, but ho ho ho! There's uh, more libraries than just Steam these yeah, days. Yeah. Like uh, you know, one of the games that I haven't played in a while, but that I do really enjoy, um, Anno eighteen hundred, is is Ubisoft Connect even? available on, on linux I, I don't even know i don't even know i guess we're gonna find out right is is origin available is bnet available is the riot games launcher available does uh battle state games launcher work yeah uh, i'm assuming no for like quite a bit of that okay now i am we'll gonna see. do something really bold here um okay. i'm gonna do something really bold and okay. i'm going to let the community pick which distro I use. I'm still going to do some of my own research oh. to determine which one I think Are is right for me. Are we using the same ones? No, no, no. So that's going to be one of the elements of this video. I think it's going to ultimately be a video series. So part one, wow. I okay. think, has to be like, like kind of you know, like day one. Uh, you know, like your, your challenges deciding which one to get getting the initial setup done. I think this is something we absolutely have to both kind of submit our experiences for and uh, yes. both talk about. Um, and then past that, I think there's got to be kind of like an update. All right, it's been two weeks and I'm, I haven't, I haven't played this game that I really love in two weeks and I'm, I'm getting the twitches, you know, <laughs> like th that kind of thing. Um, and then we have to have a conclusion where we kind of go, okay, I've settled in now. I, I've, I figured out a lot of my workarounds. Here's where I'm at. I talked about it with James. I think he thinks it should be just two pieces of content, but but we'll see. Uh, but the point is, one of the things that will be included in the first one is a lot of hemming and hawing about which distro to use. So here's what I've got in my list oh, so far. And I, I, it's not comprehensive. You guys are going to help me flesh it out here. Um, I've got Pop, Mint, Arch, by the way, Ubuntu, and Manjaro. Um, is there one you're leaning towards? Uh, I I have heard Pop is like super super simple. I know that System76 does uh, a lot of really great work. I want to see if there's any other major ones that I've missed. If, no, we're not running Fedora. Like, come on, guys, put put real <laughs> real serious. You should get, you should get like, extra points or something if you run Fedora and wear a Fedora for the, for the whole duration. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Um, no, no, you shouldn't get any of that. Um, I am very interested in audience input, and I have not looked into this stuff in quite a while because it's been, like I said earlier, years since I've daily driven Linux. But I was sort of, I was going to do some more research, get myself back up to date, but I was sort of planning on just going Mint again because that's what I did in the past, and I yeah. was decently happy with what it had to offer. But yeah, it's been it's been a while. Guys, don't be don't be spamming some of the ones that I have already in the chat. I'm trying to flesh out the list. You're gonna vote in the straw poll. Come on, guys. Is, Are you new? Are you new this is here? Such a minefield, dude. All right. Okay. <laughs> Float plane chat is being extremely unhelpful. No GUI, only bash. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run my gaming machine with no GUI. Come on, you guys. No, it's brilliant. Oh, what? Straw poll is not letting me create my poll. 
Get, oh, we should we should have to we should have to toggle GUI off for like every action other than actively playing a game. No, we shouldn't. That'd be oh, horrible. I am extremely disappointed. Anthony wants to know if we're gonna allow distro hopping. Honestly, I think that's gonna cause more problems than it solves because one of the biggest issues with Linux, from my experience, which again is not daily driving, but is from trying to use it to do kind of almost literally anything when we've tried to make videos. Um, one of the biggest issues is the lack of searchability for solutions. So I might I might be able to find the solution to, oh, Steam, oh, it was supposed to be easy to install, but it wasn't. Here's the workaround. And you can find the solution for Ubuntu or whatever. And then you run into some other problem and you find the solution that works great on Mint. And it's like, well... Okay, now what? I'm going to go over to Mint. I'm going to solve this problem. I completely reinstall my stupid OS. And then I'm going to realize, oh no, my, I, can't, I can't even figure out how to get Steam installed. Now to be clear, these are, these are problems I'm not expecting to actually be problems. I will be able to figure out how to install Steam. It's fine. But it is something that I've run up against where from be between distros and even from version to version of the same distro, because the community is so much smaller, the help resources are just so much narrower and they have a tendency to be not directly applicable to what you're trying to do or to be outdated. Do you want to look at the, the poll? It, it is a little corrupt because when I was, I checked the original poll just to be like, am I crazy? I did spell Ubuntu right the first time, but Ubuntu uh, won the most votes. Uh, so I would take that with a slight grain of salt because it's Ubuntu um, and people might have voted for it for the meme. Um, if I had to hazard a guess, I think the real winner here is Pop. I, I could definitely yep. see like, you know, 50 something votes coming in for the meme for Ubuntu. Um, so I, I would kind of see either pop as a winner or pop as a tie with Ubuntu. And Arch is clearly people wanting to make me suffer. That's another meme. Like, yeah, 100 percent. I think there, I, in my opinion, the, the like real top three is Ubuntu, pop and mint. Um, and with with pop being kind of the most interesting one to me right now ubuntu i think gets a lot of votes because of the meme gets a lot of votes because it's existed for a long time and people know what it is mint probably a little bit on the exist for a long time and people know what it is realm as well and then pop because of the system 76 um affiliation and it being gaming focused and it having specific isos for like your are you nvidia are you amd that kind of stuff which is like actually pretty cool um yeah, yeah. I'm currently leaning mint or pop. Pop is winning me over already, though. So maybe, maybe it'll end up being pop. But I want to do more research on it first. Are you just going to go with the poll? No, I'm going to do gonna a little bit of influence? research. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Anthony's going to have going to want to have some say. And unlike you nerds, um, Anthony's going to be looking out for me. Like Anthony wants to convert me to, to daily yeah. drive Linux forever. Like he's yeah. he's gonna be all about giving me whatever suggestion is the best chance that I never um that I never go Anthony's back to Windows. He's probably so. watching. What is what does he think the best option is? Uh he is probably watching. I'm sure he's gonna recommend pop. He's something of a system 76 fanboy. And I'm sure he'd admit it. Um I mean, he runs Arch, by the way. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> but I don't think he's going to recommend that no. I run Arch. I really no. don't think so. 